Right, how, how's it going? Uh, we talk about battery degradation. So uh, I just found a few things online there. There was, uh, there was one um, from Inside the EVs. I, I found this article. Uh, the Idaho National Laboratory done a, uh, an experiment in 2014 on the Nissan Leaf. So they got uh, four uh, Nissan Leafs from 2012, so the, one of the first generation Nissan Leafs. Two of them they just charged at home and two of them they just charged with the DC, 50 kilowatt DC charging. And after uh, 40,000 miles they found that the, the ones that were just DC charged had about 3% more battery degradation than, than the other one. So um, now we have to bear in mind the Nissan Leaf uses a different type of uh, battery. They use the pouch type, whereas most modern cars now use the cylinder type. So the, like the typical batteries that, that, you'd, that we'd all know. Uh, the AA type batteries, not their cylinder uh, battery, so it's packed within a cylinder. The thing about the pouch ones is you can't have a battery management system. They can't be liquid cooled with the cylinder. They, they are liquid cooled, so uh, they do have a battery management system. So I'll link that uh, review to the, the, the video there so you can have a look. But yeah, it's it just basically say, saying the same thing. Another one there about Tesla from, from the same website inside EVs and more or less the same thing. Uh, after 200,000 miles, the average uh, capacity, uh, battery capacity was still 90%. So losing 10% after 200,000 miles, which is what, uh, I think 340 odd thousand kilometers. So yeah, it, it, battery degradation is not really a problem not a major problem um, there's one here from uh, MG <coughs> uh, the SAIC uh, 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 SAIC is, is the company it's a ch Chinese state owned company and they have different brand names underneath this uh, MG being one of them but uh, they're just talking about uh, a hybrid that, that they had out uh, the Rowie um, where is this R Rowie E550 I think it was um, but they were saying they found one with uh, yeah the E550 uh, they found one with 575,000 kilometers on it <laughs> it's some mileage but um, they they it took the car in, they took the battery out, and they sent it off to a university, and it was found to have um, over eighty five percent battery capacity still left. So after five hundred seventy five thousand kilometers, to only lose fifteen percent battery, <laughs> that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But um, re really, the 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 main cause of battery degradation is heat. Um, they all will in time degrade uh, through uh, charging you know the more charging it does it will slowly degrade but heat is the biggest problem and uh, they all seem to be saying that's you know if you're using a dc charger you should only really uh, go up to about 80 90 percent uh, once you go above 80 uh, percent no matter what type of charging you're doing the, the battery management system will slow down the charge itself to to stop heat building up within the the the, the battery itself which, which will cause damage so uh, and then the other end of it they recommend that you don't go below 20 percent um on a regular basis certainly not below 10 percent uh, because with lithium-ion batteries if you fully discharge them they may not recharge again uh, now the, the, with uh, battery management systems there is a safety thing in it so you it, like my car has a 52.1 uh, kilowatt battery in it but i think it's only 48 kilowatts is usable so there's a buffer e either end built into the battery management system for, for the battery so uh, so that doesn't happen but uh, but yeah, look, in general, I don't think battery degradation is a huge problem. Um, I was just thinking there when I was thinking about doing this video, if uh, 
because EVs are, are still pretty new and you know the only manufacturers that have had cars for more than 10 years now is Tesla and Nissan really you know um, obviously Toyota's had the, the Prius hybrid but full electric vehicles it's, it, it's really only Tesla and uh, Nissan uh, the Nissan Leaf. Now, as I said, the Nissan Leaf used a different type of battery to the Tesla, um, the pouch form, which is the cheapest and fastest way of making batteries. But then the, the trade off is there's high battery degradation with that type of battery uh, because you can't have a liquid cooled battery management system with, with this. Uh, the only management system is when the when the Nissan Leaf is charging, if the batteries get too hot, it will reduce or even cut off. Uh, the, the charge uh, to, to drop the heat uh, they're uh, passively cooled which is basically by air when you're driving you know so uh, <clears throat> so yeah the Nissan Leafs have, have kind of that against them and as far as I know even the modern ones are still using the same type battery uh, the Chevy Bolt uh, used the same battery as well and they had major problems with fires if you all remember last year and the year before um, uh, it, 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 what they call thermal runaway when the heat builds up in the battery uh, it can cause a reaction and they just combust um, Hyundai had a problem with uh, the Kona um, there's a, 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 an article here I'll, I'll share as well but uh, they, they were LG Chem were supplying them with their batteries and uh, there was actually two recalls with the Hyundai from 2018, cars manufactured from 2018 to 2020. Um, the first recall was a software update and the problem still persisted. There was uh, Hyundai Kona was going on fire uh, with the thermal runaway. They, uh, Hyundai were blaming a battery problem uh, and LG Chem said, no, <laughs> it's not the battery, it's your management system. So. Obviously, having a, a good battery management system uh, seems to be seems to be just as important as well. So, uh, just something I was thinking about as I was saying there about um, if we could get with, with, with the MGs, if, if you could post up when you get a service, if you could post up the state of battery health, uh, what mileage is on your car, and what way you charge it. Um, you know, is it home charging all the time? It, you know, is it 50 50 with home charging and D, you know, DC charging, or do you DC charge a lot? And um, that way, maybe we, we can all kind of help each other out and we'll get a proper, uh, a, a true life idea of um, the, the, the difference with, with the charging. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it. I, I'll copy the links to these and you can have a look and you can see for yourselves. So, Drive safe everyone, all the best.